A sound wave traveling eastward through air causes air molecules to vibrate east and west, north and south, eastward only, or northward only. And the thing to realize here is that sound is a longitudinal wave. And what that means is that the particles vibrate parallel or in the same direction as the motion. And so if you have a wave that's traveling east, we can represent a longitudinal wave using vertical lines close together and then spaced out. Now as the wave travels east, these particles or these vertical lines vibrate in the east and west direction. That's what causes these compression areas here and these expansion areas here. That east-west or the motion that's parallel to the direction of the waves travel is what causes the compressions and expansions. And so the answer for this one is one. The particles vibrate east and west parallel to the wave's eastward motion.